Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for February 16th through the 28th, 2023. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. We are building to the third super new moon, which will be in Pisces on the 19th. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point, and we do schedule according to your time zone. So the link below to my website has all the information available for you. You can read about the benefits, uh, check out the testimonials page, and you'll also see a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, we are going to jump straight into the readings. Hello Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, any placement of Libra. This is again your reading for February 16th through the 28th, 2023. Let's get you an overall energy. Whoop. All right, there it is. All right, Libras. Oh, this is a good one for you. We've got the Armadillo Spirit, Set Healthy Boundaries. Um, this is a message uh, to you to really be aware of, like it says, your boundaries. This is, I'm seeing more in very close relationships. So it um, can be a really positive message about a checking in with yourself. Do you have any dynamics, relationships, people around you where maybe you are giving more than you are receiving? And checking in with those boundaries, pulling your energy back, making sure that things are um, more balanced and healthier is is gonna only help you to feel better Libra because if you are overextending yourself over and over and over and over and not getting that in return or getting half of it in return you are gonna burn out or relationships are gonna crash and burn this can happen in friendships in work dynamics in family relationships um, and definitely in love and romance as well so you know, like your sign says, be the scales, balance, balance, balance. Libras are always striving to be in balance. So with the boundaries, checking in with yourself, which relationships and dynamics around you maybe need a little check-in or a little bit awareness brought into this. Now, this shouldn't be something that is scary for you. This is this should be something that um, feels really good. When we do honor our boundaries and we do set healthy boundaries, we feel better. Our relationships are healthier we have more energy we feel more clear because we're not depleted and drained and overextending ourselves so i love that overall energy for you libras all right let's see what else we've got for you <clears throat> Second row is your specific person. To those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy, Libras? All right, third row, any clarifying messages for you? <clears throat> Okay, cards are out, Libra. First up, we are starting with Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Now, I'm actually seeing this message for you as um, kind of similar to your overall energy about the healthy boundaries, but you really getting clear and strong in your own energy. And you kind of have, if you, I'm seeing this as you here, but you kind of have your back turned towards this Five of Pentacles, this Three of Swords. And <clears throat> excuse me, to me, this is a message that you're turning your back on things that are disconnected. So connections that feel disconnected, being disconnected from certain people, from your higher self, maybe from your relationship with money. Um, and you're no longer going to sit in this like unknown area. I'm also seeing with the three of swords here, this can be past pain, past hurt, something to do with love in a relationship. But you've pulled your power back from both of these cards. That's how I'm seeing um, the way that, you know, the order that they came out in. And Libra, you are here in this Nine of Pentacles energy. This is an energy of strength, of being, you know, self-reliant, of feeling abundant, of feeling whole and complete all in yourself without needing that from others. So with the healthy boundaries, 
as your overall energy, you know, where are there still maybe some ties or things in your life that you feel disconnected to? Or, you know, maybe you've turned your back on people who have ghosted you or who just don't show up for you the way that you should. And in the past, that really would cause you pain and that would be very hurtful where now you have the wisdom and the maturity to realize that's on them and not on you. So you've taken your power back here, Libras. That's like really how I'm seeing these cards and I really love that. So <clears throat> some of you can be dealing with earth sign. We've got Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo out here and also other air. Uh, could be another Libra or a Aquarius or Gemini. Second row, your specific person, Libra, those of you dealing with a specific person. We've got four of cups, ace of cups, five of wands. Immediately, um, what I'm seeing in their energy, Libras, is they are aware of the love and the connection that is here with you. So this Ace of Cups, I'm seeing a lot of energy um, tied into this card. So they are aware of it. They maybe have just discovered it, felt it, realized it, acknowledged it, but that love, that romance, that compassion, that emotional safety that they feel with you is there and they're realizing that. However, I do see a little bit of resistance around them. So this is where they're at. Them seeing and knowing this connection, Libra, is super important because once they know that, now they can work through whatever is in the way for them. And that's on them, not on you. So with the Four of Cups here, they've been very distracted. Um, I'm seeing a lot of distraction energy around them. They are not focused on love and romance at this time. However, the connection is there. So this is validation for you, Libra. If you feel the connection, you know that it's there, but maybe there's delays or something is stalled or you know, they're just not giving you as much attention as you know that they can. Um, be aware of that. You can bring in your healthy boundaries, but also acknowledge that, you know, they're not focused. If you look at this character, they're looking down here at these three cups. They are not looking at the beautiful opportunity and love uh, that they feel with you right now. And they're struggling with that. So I do see the five of wands to me is always like chaotic thinking. So um, I'm seeing their mental energy is very busy. They're, like I said, a lot of distraction. Um, but they also have kind of chaotic thoughts around you and the relationship, meaning they're not letting themselves just feel it, just accept it, just let it grow and move forward. Um, I do see this kind of balancing out for them and, and settling, so to say. Uh, so just give them space, pull your energy back, you focus on you, which you are, that's really beautiful. And they're gonna sort themselves out because this Ace of Cups, for whatever reason, the, the strongest message coming through for you is they have just like got it. Like something clicked where they're like, whoa, this connection is real or whoa, this is deep or oh, that is a connection. It is here. It's like they haven't been able to see it or they haven't been open to accepting it just yet. So now that they have, they've seen it, they've felt it, they've like have the awareness around it these other energies will naturally balance and settle out, Libra. So, you know, keep your focus on the bigger fix picture, which is ultimately the two of you coming together. Right now, there's some things in the way, but the connection is there and it's quite strong. I will say that. Um, so you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, um, and then a little bit of fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries out there. Third and final row, Libra, we've got King of Swords, a Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So really interesting, Libra, because your first row started out with Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, which was about balance and boundaries. Now we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles, again, is a message around balance. You've, you've got the scales here on this card. So uh, the King of Swords here, Libra, again, I'm seeing this as your energy or this could be somebody that you are dealing with. Um, actually, I feel that stronger now that I say that. So for some of you, this will be your energy. But for a lot of you, this King of Swords is someone you are dealing with and they are weighing out their options in how much energy and investment to put into you and into this connection. So for some of you, this can be about your specific person. For others, this may be somebody <clears throat> brand new coming in, but this King of Swords, uh, I'm seeing that they are aware of this connection. They're weighing out their options and they're looking at how much they 
can invest, want to invest, are willing to invest into you in this dynamic. So again, Libras, I'm hearing there is nothing for you to do on your side, but lean back, be in your more feminine energy because um, whoever you're dealing with romantically, whether it's brand new or you've been, they've been around for a while, things are um, like getting cleaned up getting cleaned up king of swords has clarity like that clarity comes in where it's like this is my soulmate this is who I want to be with um, and then they they do what needs to be done so um, with the two of pentacles they are they're looking at the pros and the cons and um, they're approaching this connection with you a little bit more um, from their mental energy and their more practical energy However, the love, the emotional connection is there because of this Ace of Cups. Um, but this is kind of a decision for them because they're looking at the amount of investment, right? Their time, their energy, their resources to put into this with you. And I think this is really important for you to know with so much pentacle energy here is this is going to be grounded. They are, you know, considering a foundation with you, something that can build upon with so much pentacle energy here in the reading. So um, I kind of see this as like the starting point, Libra, where like the the foundation is being laid uh, for this to grow. And all that you need to do, Libra, is just keep doing you, focusing on your happiness, keeping yourself balanced and in a high vibration place. Everything else with the relationship and what's going on around you is going to work itself out, okay? Um, so again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, also strong water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. And then we do have other air out here, so it could be another Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius, okay? And there's only one wands out here. Could be a fire sign. Remember, it is a general reading, so don't get too caught up on the signs. Um, this can be speaking to a characteristics. I mean, we have, we embody all of the characteristics of all the signs at one point or another. Let me see if there's any other message for you. Oh, what a beautiful message, Libra. Trust. Oh, I feel a sense of relief as this uh, word is shown here. Trusting in the process, trusting in the timing, trusting in your inner knowing. Um, there's something here around you, Libras, honoring how deep you feel this connection is and not letting the mind get in the way and talk you out of it or point out everything that's not working or that's going wrong. So it's really trusting what you feel at a deeper intuitive level. Um, and that is going to bring a sense of calm and peace and trust. So that is a great message for you. Let's get you a spirit animal message. All right. You don't even get an animal this time, Libra. You get the dragon. Supernatural. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Mastery is your destiny, Libras. This is you mastering yourself, mastering your mind, mastering your own energy. And I see you doing that here. And it's showing up in other areas of your life. So good work. I think that is all that's coming through for you, Libras. I hope this resonates. Um, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Libra. Thank you for the comments below. I love reading your comments. I do get back to every single one. Also, the likes and subscribes really do help the channel. So thank you for that. If you missed the intro, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. The link below to my website has all the information available for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials. And of course, there is a 15% discount for you um, as a first time client or your very first session with me. So you could take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. And it's a really wonderful thing to help you just get balanced, clear out any energy that you're holding onto that you no longer need, and just truly get you more aligned with your highest and best self. So again, all the information is below for you. And I think that's it, Libras. I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to February and I'll see you back here for the first half of March readings. Take care.